RBV threatening, but goalie Preston Chow says, stop trying to make fetch happen. First half, what's in the box? It's San Marcos, Miranda Martinez, tying it at one with the header. Play now, it's Q-Dog. Victoria Davis on the breakaway where she has so much room for activities. Her goal makes it two nothing, Sarah, and that's a final. Who will they meet in the finals Saturday, Rick? To the alma mater of the world famous Rick Willis, San Diego hosting Carlsbad, and oh my gosh, Becky, look at that shot. Robert Miller with a free kick ties the game at 2-2. Two two. After overtime, PKs. It's Owen Oresno with the game winner. San Diego advances 3-2 to two the final. 5-4 to four in PKs. They will face Torrey Pines in the Open Division semifinals. Paul, what's up? Tommy Moore is here at Santana High School where I am sitting in the middle of a storm. The purple rainstorm, of course. Tommy Moore is here at La Jolla High School where the Bishops Knights are sporting some brand new helmets. Tommy Moore is here at San Diego High where it's homecoming. Tommy Moore is here at La Jolla Country Day School, my alma mater. Oh, this has been Tommy Moore from University City hanging out with Coach Hans Graham who will be taking on the winner of this game. Guys, back to you. Tommy Moore is here with the Lincoln Cheer Squad. I have Kiana, the captain, with me. We've heard of fans taking pictures with their favorite athletes, some of them even draw their favorite athletes, but Duke Alfred from Claremont builds his out of Legos. Maybe just do a slight chin tilt to the camera. Yeah, that way it shows off your jawline. Yep, that's perfect. Tommy Moore is here from Chargers Park where the Bolts are getting ready to take on the Broncos. This is a big game not only for the team, but for one Charger in particular. Dwight Freeney gets to face his old teammate Peyton Manning. Last year he missed all the matchups in between the Chargers and the Broncos because he's out with an injury. I spoke with him about his matchup with his old teammate. You know, it should be uh, interesting to say at least, you know, just to see him across and being on the same team. You know, we had a real close-knit team. You know, he'll send me a text once in a while, and I'll shoot him a text once in a while. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting. Any texts going back and forth this week? No, no, no. No, I'm not going to text him before the game. You know, uh, you know, he's still a quarterback. <laughs> Dwight says he almost considers Peyton a brother, but, guys, there will be no brotherly love on the field. He's holding nothing back, and he can't wait to get a piece of Peyton. Back to you. The San Diego Section CF Football Championships have not been at DeVore Stadium since 2009. And during that time, Southwestern Community College put $31 million into this stadium. And now that it's state of the art, the San Diego CAF Football Championships are back. And remember, we'll be back tomorrow night with 16 games plus the infamous Ali Wagner will join our team of misfits. This show really, uh, it's about horse racing. It's a lot about off the track, Del Mar, that type of stuff. But it's really about these two guys. We got Billy Koch and Scott Kaplan. Billy Koch from LA. Scott, some people know him from the radio. And these guys are so entertaining. Honestly, I could watch these two guys watch paint dry and I would have a great time. All right, let's hear it for the boys tennis team. And I am happy to be joined here with the player of the year, Henry G from Torrey Pines. Henry, you had a really, really, really good Torrey Pines team, five guys on the first team. Could have had six if the sixth guy would have played in the tournament. What was it like going to practice every day with those guys? And I know you didn't want to do it, but I'm asking you to do it anyway and put you on the spot. When you hit, when you hit good shots, you always let out that little grunt noise that everyone's become accustomed to that wrote about in the UT. Can you give us one? Please, can you just uh, give us one? It's, it's, it sounds kind of stupid not on the court, though. No, it sounds awesome. <laughs> Uh, if I do it with you, will you do it? <laughs> we can do the what or the come on? Just come on. All right, we'll do it on count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Come on! <laughs> there we go. I don't know if we just blew out the sound system. Paul, back to you. <laughs> oh, excellent job. Thank you, guys. So you try to put your hip one way? Yep, you got it. Your shoulders the opposite way. And then the head. Yeah, good oh, you guys. Perfect. This is it. Chargers Cowboys, we all remember what happened last time. There was a fight in the parking lot. A tequila bottle smashed over a Charger fan's head. So today for the game, there was extra security, more people walking around, no glass bottles allowed in the parking lots anymore. We saw a lot of people monitoring that. And it's been safe so far. Good to report there have been no fights. It's an NFL game, you never know. Guys, back to you. We are here at the Battle of Del Mar Heights Road, Cathedral Catholic hosting Torrey Pines. So you know there's got to be a lot of interesting stuff around. Let's take a look at what they have. Is this a dangerous machine? Very. No, yeah. Is this is this real cotton or what is this? No, it's sugar. It's sugar. The ice was imported from the North Pole this year because we heard there was a good batch. So. Pretty good. 
Textbook perfection. Oh! Almost in the sand. And then you comment? <laughs> oh! Oh! Now, am I in danger with this TP on the side of my face? Yes, I would not. I would cover the side of your face when you're walking around here. So we have enjoyed the Friday Night Lights pregame celebration. I got my face painted, got to eat a little bit of candy or whatever this is, and now let's enjoy the game. You guys have made a heck of a turnaround this season. This program was struggling a little bit. Now you guys are undefeated going to the championship. How have you guys been able to turn around so far? Uh, like, like Coach Roy always saying, hard work pays off. Every day we come to practice, we always practice hard, hard, and then we go over plays, and then we always watch the film to see the opponent, see what we got to do to take it to the next level and win. This, uh, uh, that CF stands for Crawford in finals. Is that true? Yeah! Go, two receivers, two is right, one to the left. The one to the left is Robert Woods. Gives the ball to McNeil. McNeil with a lot of room on the left side. He's got the whole sideline. He can go all the way. 30, 20. It's a full race, and it will be won by Curtis McNeil. Touchdown, USC. Cal Poly in Long Beach State. Understandable, Cal State, Fullerton, UC Irvine, and Long Beach State. Huge baseball powerhouses. Next pitch is pulled deep to right. That's got a chance. It is gone. Ryan gets with his second home run of the year. RBI number 23 as well. And right away, the Highlanders are up one to nothing. Gets did a great job of battling throughout the whole entire bat. Finally got a pitch he really liked. And showed it by putting into the right field trees. Andrew Chun Bishops. The goalie had 310 saves this season and is the only non-senior to get first team all CAF honors. Richard Daly Bishops, the Knights co-captain, led the team in goals with 89. Tommy Higginson, the other captain for Bishops, led the team in exclusion strong with 56 and field blocks with 21. Staying in La Jolla, Cole Martinez. His father was an All-American and is his assistant coach. He makes the first team after making the second team last season. Kevin Jappa, Carlsbad, the Lancers' only returning starter helped bring them to their 12th straight section finals game. Owen Azalone, Carlsbad, the Lancer was instrumental in their championship run, scoring a hat trick in the Division I CAF championship game. Austin Roan, Cathedral, the lefty scored the game time goal with three minutes left in regulation to send the CAF championship game into overtime. Jordan Kalina Cathedral. Second time as an all San Diego selection, he helped the Dons and modern day Santa Ana's 105 game winning streak. Cody Smith, as his coach Brett Ormsby said, he's the full package, a pure shooter who can score from both left and right side. He's also a great student with a 4.0 GPA.